anybody who says that hindu phobia is not real is hindu phobic hindu phobia is a very big deal it's a very real thing you see it everywhere especially in the west the us academia is systematically fostering hindu phobia they are portraying hindu hinduism and the various dharmic uh, paths as 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 primitive as backward as misogynistic as patriarchal everything anything bad you can think about it and any any bad adjective that you can think of they are heaping that upon hinduism in a variety of ways in a very sterile academic way like they talk about caste and they talk about the fact that apparently in the us there is caste discrimination and so on so they are you know through these indirect means painting hinduism as a very evil oppressive misogynistic barbaric primitive so on so forth so forth so forth culture and religion it's being done systematically and deliberately and anybody who like i said there are various academics who who go on twitter who who are on twitter and they say hindu phobia is not a thing hindu phobia cannot be be a thing and all, all that they are the biggest hindu phobes so there's a ground that's being prepared to attack india from the cultural perspective from the religious perspective in the west that is in, in the very uh, it's been it's a project that's been ongoing since the british raj since the east india company days initially when the when the british first came to india they wrote very positive reports and positive uh, uh, narratives about what they saw in india from the cultural perspective they said that indians have the best family values b- far better than anybody in the west and so on and so forth but then right. the missionaries got involved despite the protestations of the east india company and then the entire narrative changed suddenly sati became a thing suddenly overnight in bengal millions of sati cases started started emerging out of nowhere per year until, until the previous year there was nothing and so on so this is a a movement that has started there was started in the east india company days atrocity literature atrocity narratives and and so on and this is something that has now become part of the mainstream uh, consciousness you go to the west people actually believe that indians are like that indians uh, that indians uh, sacrifice the newborn children to the ganga for instance that in the jagannath yatra rath yatra hundreds of people are crushed under the wheels of the jagannath chariot these narratives started during the missionary days of the east india company and people still believe that and that is something that the, these western academics can build upon they can build upon build yeah. upon build upon that's what's happening so hindu phobia is a very real thing it is uh, and like you said the other part of the question india is now rising that that is an unmistakable fact right india is now right. rising as you rise others will get jealous of you there will be jealousy there will be people who resent the fact that they were once in the uh, for 500 years they were ruling the world right. and now the east is rising india is rising india is now rising better than china india's growth rate of growth is better than china by 2025 26 if the current rate of growth continues we'll cross the 5 trillion mark by 2012 13 uh, sorry 2020 32 to 2033 or so we could cross the 10 trillion dollar mark we are on um, we are on track for for those milestones right. and that is something that greatly discomfits the west especially the english speaking world mm-hmm. the anglo saxon empire they 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 resent it very greatly they have ruled the world for 500 years through pillage and genocide what does the uk produce why does it have such, such a high uh, uh, you know prosperity what have they yes. done? what have, what does it what does the nation produce per year where does the gdp come from they produce nothing and yet, yet they are so prosperous all these western nations produce very little they don't have the resources to produce much and yet they are so incredibly prosperous now there is n- nobody is going to allow them to plunder any more and that's why the west is declining and that's why the jealousy is rising especially when india starts rising now india is rising right. and you're going to see more and more of hindu phobia now because of this rise of india mm. 